Texas Math Mundo audience, are we in store for a treat today? We have a five-time state champion who's only a junior, who will be a senior next year, Nicholas Ellison, the pride of Woodsboro, a Woodsboro High School Eagle in the house, sharing his perspective. Um, let me take a quick moment and ask that if you enjoy this content, that you please hit the subscription button and the notification bell. You smash that like button and leave a comment below. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Let's spread this beauty, let's spread this joy to as many people as possible. We have legendary Nicholas Ellison sharing his perspective on this year's UIL year. Uh, right ahead. My name is Saul Cantu and this is Texas Math Mundo. Time state champion in the house, Nicholas Ellison. In his freshman year, 2020, the UIL State Meet was canceled. Last year, his sophomore year, he was the number sense and mathematics state champion. And then just recently, the recently concluded 2022 state meet, he was the number sense, math, and calculator state champion with the highest score in the state in calculator a five-time state champion and that's because uh, he's only he's coming back next year for his senior year welcome nicholas ellison the pride of woodsboro uh, a proud eagle welcome mr ellison hi so uh what are your thoughts on the recently concluded state meet i think it was pretty good the this was the first time I was competing in Austin because, like you said, freshman year was canceled. Last year took place at the pods. So this was the first year I competed at Austin. So it was a new experience for me. You dominated, man. Wasn't it so electric, the environment, to have all the greatest minds in the same room? Tell me how that felt. Yes. Uh, felt pretty cool. I just, yes, everything was cool. And the number one calculator score in the whole state of Texas, regardless of classification. Wow. How did you get so good? Because last year I placed second. So this year I worked harder so that I would win in calculator. So I just pushed this year to become better at it. Oh, so you let that second place finish last year drive you. Yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's great. That's great. So, uh, when you got back home, what did your teachers, friends, parents say? Uh, did the school celebrate your victory? Yes, at the school, we, we were acknowledged at a board meeting, and then they announced this as winners. 
my parents were super happy with me. My coaches were super happy with me. Everybody was amazed and happy. Well, it's some well-deserved recognition, man. You work hard. You show academic excellence. Yeah, you're special, Nicholas, man. So it's well deserved that recognition. I, I really like the fact that the board recognized you. That's awesome. Yes. Hey, uh, would you like to do a shout out to either your parents, the coaches, teammates, anybody this year that helped you out this year? Yes, I'd like to do a shout out to my coach, Mr. Dunn, then to my mom and dad, and then to my teammates. For number since, they were Matty Baker, Renee Hernandez, and Joel Garcia. For a calculator, they were uh, Maddie Baker, Renee Hernandez, and Katie Fricks. And then for mathematics, they were Maddie Baker, Renee Hernandez, and Aisha Rodriguez. All right. And I noticed the team seemed a little bit stronger this year. Were you all working more as a team this year? Yes. They worked, we worked hard this year, and they pushed, especially in calculator. We, did a, we went amazing with that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You know, I want to compare the two years. You know, last year you were so gracious and you gave me a good interview and I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate you coming this year so we can compare the two years. How are the two years different? Last year that was that was my first time competing at State in high school, so I was nervous. This year, since I had the experience from last year, I kind of calmed down and was able to focus more on the tests. So I think this year was a lot better. Hey, now you're a veteran. Now you're a leader and a veteran. All right. You know, you actually gained in strength. You continue to improve. Uh, was your practice regiment the same, or did you change the routine this year? It was mainly the same. I just practiced. In these past three months, I was starting to do more numbers since tests. I did usually at least two a day, but that was one of the bigger changes, was more numbers since tests this year. And science. I noticed I'm mentioning your name much more in science now. Uh, have you been studying? Yeah. Yes, I started focusing more on science also, especially physics. I had gotten a new physics book from the website and just studied that this year a lot. All right. I did notice, man. I did know. And how about the team? The team seems better this year than last year. How is the team different? Are they different members? Are the members the same? Yeah. Uh, Yes, we got some more new members this year. One of them, Rene Hernandez, he did it his freshman year. It got canceled. Then he didn't do it sophomore year. He came back this year and worked really hard. And then Maddie Baker, this was her first year doing it also, and she worked very hard too. Joel Garcia, Katie Fricks, and Aisha Rodriguez worked hard too. Good. So and this year they were a lot more hardworking. Great, great. Do you like the te team chemistry? Yes. I'm sure they look up to you because of just how outstanding your performance is. Yes. So it's summer. What are your plans for this summer? Um, I'll be taking some courses from the local college. Then next week I'll be visiting A&M at College Station for a tour. Then practicing with the UIL team. And then maybe going to that uh, summer UIL math camp meet. Right, so you're gonna have a busy summer. Yes. <laughs> hey, how are you gonna enjoy the summer? Uh, mainly through UIL and stuff. It's all fun. It's all fun. Yeah. Yes. Next year, my how time flies! You're gonna be a senior. You're going to yes. be a senior, Nicholas Ellison, man. What are your goals for next year? I mean, you seem like you attained it all. What are your goals? No, focus more on in UIL mathematics to get my score higher up in that one. And then number sense to get that one a little bit higher up. Then I'll focus more on dual credit in college classes so that I'll get my, uh, quite a bit of credits by the time I graduate oh, from high school. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. There's always plenty and I'll be And I'll be focusing more on science UIL. To improve my score in that too and just enjoying yourself that seems like enjoyable yeah. you know? yes you know you're the target man you're the guy on the top man everybody has their eyes on you so you're the target man uh, do you see any foresee any major yeah. rivalries next year yes continuing with Ty Schaller because he's in the same grade that I am 
and our calculator scores were pretty close these past two years. So he's uh, one of my main rivals. Well, Ty Schaller, and he's, he's in your same grade? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Any other rivalries? Uh, also from mathematics, the second place score was pretty close from Carter, T T Carter T Tucker, so I'll have to work hard in that also. You notice with the new director in mathematics, Mr. Cliff McCurdy, uh, the test seems a whole yeah. lot harder this year. Yeah, a lot harder, yes. For I think I noticed there was all, at the state meet there was only one score above 300 out of everybody. It was rough. It was rough, man. So, uh, wow, wow. Uh, how does the Woodsboro team look like next year? Looks We're losing two people, Matty Baker and Aisha Rodriguez. The uh, Renee is a junior. Joel is a junior. Katie is a freshman. And then we have some eighth graders coming up. So the team looks like it'll be pretty good next this year coming up. All right. All right, man. Woodsboro, a team to watch out for. So your legend continues to grow. Already a five-time state champion. And that's because you never had that freshman year. Who knows if you would have had a freshman year. Um, so your legend continues to grow. What advice would you offer your peers and younger students who happen across this interview? When you try it out, just keep trying and stick with it. Part of, it'll get hard sometimes, but if you get just stick with it and keep practicing, you'll see growth over time. All right. And you continue to get stronger yourself, even as a state yeah. champion. Yes. Last time we talked, you mentioned the possibility of uh, going to A&M and uh, pursuing something in engineering. I see that you're taking yeah. a uh, college visit this year. Are you still thinking along yeah. the same, land, uh, same lines? Yeah. Yes, I still plan on getting a degree in engineering at A&M and College Station. All right. I hope they throw money at you. I hope they throw all kinds of scholarship money at you. You deserve it. <laughs> hey, so Nicholas. Do you have any uh, final thoughts or parting words as we conclude this interview? Yeah, I'm very excited for this next year coming up, especially to see the scores and how my teammates will uh, work and everything like that. And competing at the meets again this year. It's your senior year. Yes. Absorb it all. Cherish every moment. Enjoy it all, and you know because uh, this only time flies in a blink of an eye, man. So, so your senior year, man. I hope you make the most of it. Hey, I had the great pleasure of finally meeting you in person recently at the state meet. You were such a personable young man, and I really enjoyed meeting you face to face. Finally. Thank you. I want to wish you the best of luck. You know, I'm a big Nicholas Ellison fan, and I think there's a lot of Nicholas Ellison fans around the state now. You know what I'm saying? Your name is known. You're a powerhouse. You've you're got legendary status. And so I'm a big fan. So I'm going to be following you this next year, and it's my sincere hope that our paths cross many times. Yes, thank you. Hey, I want to wish you the best of luck. Enjoy that senior year. I'll be following you. And, and farewell, Nicholas. Farewell. Thank you. Bye. Wow, what a pleasurable discussion with Nicholas Ellison, five-time state champion. He's got a year to go. Uh, I really enjoyed that conversation with the young man. He had some great insight. Thank you, Nicholas, for sharing with my audience. Uh, let me take a quick moment and ask that if you enjoy this content, that you hit the subscription button and the notification bell, that you smash that like button, and that you leave a comment below. It really helps you with the YouTube algorithm. Let's spread this joy. Let's spread this beauty to as many people as possible. I got many wonderful and beautiful things in store for this channel. I really appreciate your support. My name is Saul Cantu, and this is Texas Math Mundo. Farewell.